since you are in that sector and you're leading the sector mm -hmm. for renewable energy, tell me, um, where do you see India in terms of the commitment that we have made that we'll be able to reach our target of clean energy by 2030? Well, you know, we have a, say, the government has set a target of 175,000 megawatts to be achieved by 2022. Mm. We're already close to 80,000 megawatts of commission capacity. And so we should get fairly close to meeting the target of 175,000 megawatts by 2022. So I think that itself is a very revolutionary step forward mm. uh, because when this government came in, the total installed capacity of renewables is only 25,000 megawatts. Okay. So they set a 7x target in seven years. Mm -hmm. uh, now, in fact, the other, the other interesting thing that has happened is that in the UN um, climate summit the other day, Prime Minister the Prime Minister said something about, about 225 yeah. gigawatt, no, no, right? Actually, the 225 gigawatt target is yeah. only by 2024. Uh, he's now set a target of 450 gigawatts. And that is that is there a timeline to it? It's 2030. No, they haven't they haven't yet specified yeah, a timeline. So but I would suspect it probably would be around 2030, 2032 okay. in that time period. Yeah. And that's very very sizable because uh, I think it just reflects and it shows the commitment of India in uh, dealing with climate change issues. Also, that our country has the potential to do this. Would you say that? No, no, absolutely, you're right. Well, I think it comes to solar energy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Look, yeah, I think we have tremendous uh, natural resource yeah. in solar. There are, you know, the deserts of Rajasthan. There are places in Central Asia, Central India, on the mm. Deccan Plateau, and so on. But there's lots of uh, opportunity for us to set up more and more solar capacity. Mm. And we have very good wind quality as well. Yes. Uh, one thing that we haven't even tapped right now is offshore wind setting up wind plants on the right, offs of Gujarat right. and Tamil Nadu. Yeah. So there are many opportunities for us. So this 450 gigawatts that we're targeting right now, yeah. I think it's just one step, even though it's a pretty big step, yeah. on the way to what we can actually achieve by, let's say, 2040 or 2050, which can actually be even much larger than that. Okay. Tell me, sir, what are the challenges that we face when it comes to the renewable energy sector? You know, there are quite a few challenges as well. The opportunity, of course, is vast, but there are a few challenges. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the first thing is the financial health of our distribution companies, okay. which is not very good. Okay. And they are the people who actually buy the power mm -hmm. from us. Mm -hmm. And so if their health is not improved, uh, then ultimately they will not be able to pay us. So that's one issue. Okay. The second issue that we have is obviously that the grid has to be in a position where it can take up so much capacity of renewable energy, mm -hmm. which sometimes you know is, is variable and intermittent. Mm -hmm. So we need to improve the quality of the grid to absorb all this renewable energy. Mm -hmm and their storage solutions, batteries and so on, make that task a lot easier. And then of course we need to raise financing on a gigantic scale because the kind of financing required to fund this growth hmm. will be almost 30 to 40 billion dollars every year. Right. Which the top voices come only on Times Now.